Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today. Um, today's video is going to be a bit of a different video, but it's been one I've been wanting to do, but I had to wait until now to do it because um, of reasons, as you will soon find out. Um, basically, the reason that I'm not in front of the camera is because it'll be a bit awkward to show what I want to actually show in this video. And um, so, yeah, I'm just going to be behind the camera today and you can all get a shot of my floor. It's probably the only clean spot there, <laughs> um, just saying something. But, um, yeah, so I'll just swing you round to my bed and my PJs out of the road. Um, theatre programs. Um, as most of you know, I'm obsessed with musical theatre. It's one of my favourite genres. And, um, basically, well, it's up there with sci-fi. I don't know if I could ever choose between them. But if I had to, I would probably say musicals. I would, yes, I would choose musicals over, like, sci-fi or fantasy or any of that. Um, even though, like, you know, my two biggest loves, but musical theatre is up, like, right at the top. And, um, over the past few years, I've really gotten into like I'm um, going to shows more um yeah they're a bit like pricey but um for the two hour like two and a half hours experience you get it's totally worth it and like one day I want to you know just go to West like West End and Broadway and see multiple shows there and um I think basically some that I need to see, need to win the lotto in order to see all the shows that I want to see but um I do have a sizable collection here of theatre programs. Some of these are not actually ones that I went to, um, that were given to me. Um, and then a couple are from local ones that I was actually in, so we got us like a copy of the program. And um, But yeah, most of these are ones that I have seen, so I will just get started. And the first one is The Pirates of Penzance. This is from the 1980s production that... Um, toured around Australia. Um, it starred John, John, Johnny English and Simon Gallagher. Um, this is based on the Broadway like um, production of this, like the one that had um, Kevin Klein in it. It was based on this one, and um, yeah, basically it was this one that spawned the SG version because it was Johnny, like Johnny, Johnny English actually, not Johnny. Uh, John English and Simon Gallagher um, teaming up again to redo it. And the um, main reason it's also exciting is because this is the one that has um, like Marina Pryor play Mabel in this production. And she's like one of my biggest musical theatre idols and just pretty much anything that I can get to do with her. Um, that, so yeah, this is from 86, I believe this program came out. Um, because I think by this stage it had been going for a few years, but um, yeah, so I was really excited to actually get a get hold of this. Um, so I don't know when in eight, like, because obviously '86 it was the year before I was born, so no, I didn't obviously see this, but I've got the program from it, so that's Pirates of Penzance, and then I also have one from. The Australian Opera. It's got a bit creased. Um, this is the Mikado. I just can tell. Um, yeah. Well, 91 I would have been for. So, don't think I would have been quite interested in um, any, like, <laughs> opera or musicals for that matter at that age. But, um, yeah. That's the other one that I've got. So, that's from the Mikado, and now um, these are all like ones that I've actually seen or as I said been in so the first one that I got was The Lion King this is the Australian um, one from 2003 I never got one for 2005 because it was I think pretty much the same as what this one is and um because yeah i ended up seeing it twice while it played in sydney and it's actually returning in december 2013 um even though i don't well at this stage it's more of an in inquiry as to um like whether or not it will actually happen but i may have the chance to actually audition for a role in the um upcoming production 
Um, I'm still waiting to like try and get this email through because it's for whatever reasons hasn't gone through yet. But um, yeah, I sent like a casting submission thing. So I mean, it's it's like only for the ensemble, but I think even the ensemble would be just an amazing experience because I loved The Lion King. It was so amazing and. Yeah, that's random note, but um, it's the pretty much it's like the first professional musical I ever went to, and um, yeah, basically helped. Like, I mean, I was already into like musicals by this stage, but um, it furthered along the like my love for it, and yeah, because I actually uh, saw this one with a school group. Um, I went with my year. What year was I in? Year 10, I think it was. It was my Year 10 um, music and drama class, and I think we went with Year 9 and Year 11 as well. Like, the, the local, like, the separate classes for those grades. But, um, even though I think we were, like, one of the largest groups, because, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we had, like, a bus just to ourselves, so it was the Year 10 students, so. <laughs> but, yeah, um, one of my favourite experiences, so. That's like I'll just um open up here because I don't think I so I'll just sort of flip through. Just got the cast in this one and then for this one it's basically just like stage um yeah, just like the design and everything. Um it's a really nice booklet. Like it's well worth the money that they um like to invest in one of these, so but yeah, that's um the line thing. And now we have a few of from my local musical society. Um, first one is Barnum. Um, I was actually in this, so um, just got to try and see where I'm listed. Um, ensemble. There I am. That's my name. <laughs> and I'm actually in a photo. So if I've just got to... Um, where was I? There. I don't know if you can see I'm in the Batman top. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad like bad angle but I don't know if it's picking up on camera but that's me in the corner waving the ribbons. <laughs> so but yeah, <laughs> that's Barnum. This was from two thousand and four. Um uh Lion King was from two thousand and three. I can't remember if I actually mentioned that. And then I have the local production of any that I went went to see. I'll just like yes, yeah, these are all pretty much the same like layout and that. So and then I've got Calamity Jane from two thousand and five. So yeah, you just. And I have Jesus Christ Superstar from 2006. You know, what? Because, like, Jesus Christ Superstar is one of my favourite musicals. And what annoyed me about this one is I was actually away for uni that year and, like, I could have auditioned <laughs> for it. Um, I mean, like, I don't know if I necessarily would have gotten, like, the role of Mary, but I think I would have, you know, had a reasonable chance and. Yeah, the one year they do one of my favourite musicals and I can't actually be part of it. But it was still a good production from what I remember. But yeah. It's Jesus Christ Superstar and then Rent. Because I think this was like the first um, time it had been actually performed outside of Sydney, like in the Blue Mountains. So... Yeah, and again, Rent's like my second favourite musical, so I had to go see it. And then I have my program from The Phantom of the Opera, which, oh, part of it, which I saw in 2008, because I actually didn't pay for this one, um, it was, yeah, the ticket was paid for me, um, one of the boys, like, a boy I was seeing at the time, his father paid for us to go, so, um, yeah, I mean, the scene wasn't, like, you know, that amazing, but we still managed, like, you know, see most of the production, and the fact I didn't have to pay for the ticket was, um, a bonus, so, 
but yeah, Phantom is really like amazing and I would have liked to have been able to see Anthony Wallow play the Phantom because he was the main thing, but he was only doing the weeknights and we went to a matinee, so yeah, but I mean the guy who we saw was really good as the Phantom, so um Yeah, so that's and then just stuff like that because I actually got um, the fan like the mon phantom monkey from this one so um, yeah so that's phantom of the opera um so I really want to see um like if I ever get to like West End or Broadway um it's a must see for me when I'm whenever I'm over there so okay phantom of the opera 2008 and then I've got Les Mis from 2009. Again, I was in this one, so I'll just like show scene, um, chorus, and that's me there. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah really amazing experience being in a show like Les Mis. Um, I want to do it again. So, um, no, Ed Penny's like kind of my dream role, but I don't know if I'm like old, like too old now to play her, even though I can actually like play quite young. But I mean, even to, you know, to be in the chorus again would be like really great. So, but that's my program for Les Mis. And then from 2011, I have Mary Poppins, which I saw twice in Sydney, and totally amazing both times. So I'll just sort of like show this one. It's very similar to my Lion King um, program, so but yeah. And then we have the cast in here. So I'll just sort of yeah, because yes, yeah, Marina Pryor was in this in um Mary Poppins, so I was really happy to actually um like see her in a production because she's one of my favourite um musical theatre idols. So um um Anthony Wallace, another one. So um but of so that's Mary Poppins. So I saw those, yeah, I saw it twice last year actually because we're still in 2012. So but that's that. And then I've got any. Um, this is the one I saw with Anthony Wally. So, um, yes, yeah, another person um, who I got to see. And yeah, really like um, great production. Um, So I'll just sort of through there and then got that. So yeah. That's any which I saw at the start of this year. Um I think it was the tenth of January. It was around that time. Maybe it was oh no, I think it was the eleventh. The eleventh of January I saw it, so yeah. And that was also, oh no, actually, I was going to say it was my first with Star. Um, the Lyric Theatre is actually my second, because most of the professional productions I see in Sydney are at the Capitol, but, um, I mean, that's not by, tr like, you know, I, something I deliberately um, set to, like, set out to do, because I can actually, like, I know how to find my way to both of them. It's just easier getting to the Capitol, because it's only, like, five minutes, from, like, a five-minute walk from the train station, so, but, Yeah. <laughs> And like I know, and I know how to find the capital because it has a Gloria Jeans on, like the same block. So, and then I have Guys and Dolls, which is a local production from May. And then, even though from what I found most amusing reading through this, most of the cast who were in this one did it back in '88, which I mean I obviously never actually. Um, saw the 88 production because it's only a year old, but, 
that's that's the um, program. And then we get into two of the ones that I saw recently. Um, first of all, funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Saw it with Jeffrey Rush, and he was amazing. And the only reason I went to Melbourne to actually um, say it, the only thing that annoyed me, I never had a pen. Like, because um, I could have gone to stage door and, like, try to get autographs, but oh well. <laughs> But yeah, it was a really great cast and, you know, worth the trip and I'll just flip through, like, these are some of the pictures from the show. Yeah. And then now we get to the one that I saw yesterday and that if you follow me on Facebook you'll know that I went to see Chitty Chitty Ben Ben and um oh my god it was totally totally amazing I mean I've never seen the um like the movie with Dick Van Dyke but well I've got the movie now but um but yeah it was amazing and this time I was better prepared and I actually managed to get it signed um, I missed out on David Hobson's signature because he was, um, like, I mean, the main reason I went to the show because I love David Hobson as well. And um, he's, like, my other favourite person, like, musical theatre person. But I did get the, I got the one girl who, um, like, the two children, like, main children's autographs. I got um, the girl who played Jemima and... The one who played Jeremy when I saw it, because they like had an alternate cast, like with the children. So, as is common with um, mus like these musical type of musicals. But and I also got um, Rachel Beck's autograph. She played um, Truly Scrumptious, and um, yeah, the reason it says sorry, she spelt my name wrong because I was spelling it out for her, and I went because. With my name, because I don't have an E in it, it's, like, the most common mistake. And I started to go, like, T-R-A-C-Y, but by the time I got to the C-Y, she'd already wrote, it, wrote the E. So that's why she's just got the sorry there. So, um, but yeah, but she was really nice. And, I mean, some of the, like, the kids who were, like, um, the main, um, children in the show. But, yeah, and I also, I'll just take you through it again. Um... Just got the history, and then you've got yeah. I also got a couple of the kids in the choruses autograph, so we got that one and. I also got um, her as well. So, yeah, it's my, like for my first um, stage door experience, it actually went quite well. And it was better than actually um, waiting at the train station for an hour and a half. Because my train left at 20 past 5 like to get it to Lithgow. And then I caught like the bus from Lithgow to Bathurst. And because, I mean, because when we were, because it was me and another guy who were there waiting at the stage door because I wasn't sure if like I was actually like surprised there wasn't that many like there weren't more people there but um because I think I was just going to wait and see because we were told that sometimes they didn't like necessarily come out on a like Wednesday because of the like the two shows that most of them stayed in their dressing room and that but um yeah I just because I was basically like well if no one comes out by 20 to 5 um I was going to leave but it's like what have it I managed to get one of the main like a few of the main people so so yeah um that is my program for like Chitty um saw that yesterday and if you're in Sydney I would totally recommend going to see it if you can get in because I think it's only playing for like 10 weeks or something but it is going to Melbourne for next year I think it is so um but yeah totally amazing and I think the actually the car got the best like the biggest cheer at the shows. 
So, um, and yeah. But, um, I'll just sort of get them all over. Oh. So that is my collection of programs. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> but then basically I've been collecting them for like nearly 10 years, so it's not surprising. But the next show I want to try and get to is The Addams Family, because that's opening um, in March. So hopefully I can... Well, I'll be working a bit over Christmas, so hopefully I can use some of that money to get a ticket. And... um. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I don't know if how many people are interested in this, but I just wanted to like show my collection, theatre programs, and um, but yeah. So my next video will probably be my the first part of my December update, which will be in about two weeks, because um, I'm going to try and spread them out. So rather than inundate you with another like 47 minute video. <laughs> like what happened last time so um but yeah thank you guys for watching and until my next video i'll see you bye